Hello, thanks for your interest in my course, QGIS 3.0 for Professionals. It's a great time to be a GIS professional. ArcGIS Pro is a complete overhaul of Esri's desktop GIS product. Radian Studio is busy rewriting GIS algorithms to take advantage of massively parallel processing in modern computer architectures that can make short work of computer-intensive spatial operations. Meanwhile, in the open source world, the community of QGIS users is very close to releasing a major new version in QGIS 3.0. So there's never been a better time to learn how you can leverage open source GIS to streamline your processes and save your organization money. QGIS 3.0 has not been officially released yet, but you can download the release candidate for Windows, Mac, or Linux. If you want to learn more, please consider taking my course QGIS 3.0 for GIS Professionals, which is available now on the Udemy platform. This course will cover topics such as what exactly is QGIS anyhow, how is it different from commercial GIS offerings, and why would you want to use it even if you already have access to commercial GIS software. How do you navigate the QGIS user interface, and how is it similar and or different from commercial GIS offerings? What data storage options do you have for storing and displaying geospatial data? And I'll give you a hint, it's one of the great things about QGIS is that there's a whole lot of them. How do you work with feature attributes to manage tabular geospatial data? How do you style vector and raster data to produce beautiful or at least useful mapping products? How do you create production maps suitable for printing or including in reports with legends, scale bars, locator maps, and more? And how do you create an entire map atlas to cover a large area at high resolution? How do you create and modify vector geometry? And I'll be upfront, I love the editing workflows in QGIS. Some of it may be personal preference, but I find it much easier to understand, implement, and teach others than with commercial GIS. And QGIS also has the ability to handle multi-user editing in an enterprise-level database with ease and for free. So if your future plans include large-scale digitizing projects, you can save yourself a whole lot of money implementing that in QGIS. How do you analyze vector and raster data in QGIS? And this is really a huge topic. There's no way to cover everything in a course like this. But I will at least get you started understanding the tools available and how to learn more on your own. How can you automate your workflows for common tasks using the graphical modeler in Python? Again, this is a huge topic and we can't cover everything, but this course will at least get you started and pointed in the right direction. How can you publish a map and data that you've authored in QGIS to the internet without any user fees or subscriptions? How can you view your data in three dimensions using the new 3D map viewer? And much, much more. This is not a beginner course. There's plenty of QGIS courses that are oriented towards learning the basic concepts of GIS. And if you are truly a beginner, I would encourage you to take one of those. In fact, on the QGIS website, they have a lot of training materials, including one called A Gentle Introduction to GIS. And I think that's a really good resource for learning the basics. But in this course, I assume that you understand GIS and you're familiar with the basic concepts, but are primarily interested in expanding your GIS toolkit to include QGIS. If you're interested in learning more or purchasing this course, please go to udemy.com, that's U-D-E-M-Y dot com, and search for QGIS 3.0. You can purchase the course for $20 using the coupon code COURSE4. That's all one word in capital letters with the number 4, just like you see here on the screen. So thanks for listening. I hope you consider the course. And if you do sign up, I hope you learn as much as I learned making the course.